Want to move along and talk about uh, this smack of winter heading both to the east, the Midwest, bringing bitter cold and monster snowfall. Take a look at what's moving eastward. This driving blizzard blowing out of North Dakota. The storm could bring the biggest accumulation of snow we have seen thus far this winter. CNN is covering this winter blast from all corners of the affected areas. We have Zane Asher out and about in uh, New York and Manhattan, where the region is really bracing for the worst still to come. Ted Rowland's forest in Chicago, where several inches of snow have already fallen. Margaret Conley is live at LaGuardia Airport watching all those cancellations in bright red on those uh, flight display monitors. We'll head to you in a moment. And also, meteorologist Jennifer Gray tracking all the latest warnings and advisories from the Weather Center. But Zane Asher, let's begin with you in the thick of things there in and around Columbus Circle. Uh, I know I, I read that the snow is supposed to tease New Yorkers through the day, but then really hit hard a uh, little later on. Tell me, tell me what you're seeing where you are. Hey, Brooke, well, actually, in the last, literally last five seconds, it's just started to uh, come down slightly harder. But the real drama is expected around 4 o'clock today. You know, Mother Nature is sort of trying to be uh, gentle with us, kind with us, because it's starting to sort of ease us into it, right? So this morning, the snow was relatively light. Uh, but the real action is between 4 o'clock and 10 o'clock this evening. That's what we're expecting, roughly around 8 to 12 inches of snow. So if you're a snow lover, uh, today, trust me, you are in business. Uh, but if you're like me and you shy away from cold weather, Oh, it's getting, <laughs> it's actually really coming down hard right now. But if you, you shy away from cold weather, then with the wind chill of minus five degrees Celsius, it is going to be cold. You might want to wrap it warm and stay inside. Uh, but Mayor Bill de Blasio did talk about just how much the city is really preparing uh, 2,000 sanitation workers, certainly all hands on deck. Uh, he, he had also mentioned that if you don't have to be outside, if you don't have to be outside, uh, if you don't have to be driving your car, if you can keep the streets clear, it does obviously allow the sanitation workers to do their jobs more efficiently. The NYPD talking about the issues with construction sites, especially because of the wind gusts. It could make uh, debris certainly a problem for, for pedestrians. I've been speaking to people uh, who tell me that they've been sort of prepared for this. This is nothing that nothing new for New Yorkers mm -hmm. uh, because they have prepared for this. But uh, if you're walking around, uh, certainly do be careful. Right? Yeah, watching those taxis behind you, that's always my barometer in Manhattan of how things are going. <laughs> and it looks A-OK -okay so far. Zane, thank you very much. You know, temperatures in the Midwest are supposed to be 15 to 20 degrees below average Ted Rollins to you are you feeling that <laughs> I am uh, it's very cold Brooke it's been a cold winter a depressing winter we had snow hours ago and you can see the streets of Chicago have been plowed and salted uh, no big deal but look at the Michigan Avenue bridge normally it is full of pedestrians uh, hardly anybody out here today. People are staying inside their office buildings, trying to stay away uh, from uh, the elements uh, because it is so cold. We're in single digits right now. The wind, of course, that's a big problem. You see the flags up here on the Michigan Avenue Bridge. They are blowing. That sends the temperatures way below zero and downright miserable. The good news for us is that we've got another day or so, but the bad news for the folks in the east is this is coming your way and it's not fun. <laughs> Under the beautiful blue sky, Ted Rowland's looks can be deceiving. Ted, thank you. Uh, let's talk flights to LaGuardia Airport we go. Margaret Conley, tell me, how many cancellations are you seeing where you are? Snow, uh, Brooke, the snow came down earlier than expected, and there's more of it. There's the winter storm warning until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The National Weather Service, they say there can be snow accumulation 3 to 7 inches, and also winds could be 16 to 21 miles per hour. But that's just for day side. That's expected to get a lot worse into the evening. You can take a look behind me. See how this is impacted flights. That board there, that's for American Airlines. Yellow means delays or cancellations. There have been a lot of cancellations cancellations here this morning, but flights are, or airlines have actually been canceling flights earlier, like JetBlue, for example, they did that today as well. Also, uh, the Port Authority, they gave us the numbers of flight cancellations. There are 352 flight cancellations at Newark. There were 200 flight cancellations at JFK and 300 here at Newark, uh, at LaGuardia. I also want to show you, Brooke, outside, we have a second camera, and I can see right here what that is showing you. That's our mass cam. If you look to the right there, you can see a lot of snow coming down. That's what people are having to get through to get to the airport here. And you can also see there's not a lot of traffic. That has been the biggest issue, people trying to get in and out of this airport. We talked to a lot of people who worked here. There were delays. The snow came down faster than they could salt it. So people were zigzagging all over the roads. 
Uh, Brooke, the TSA does tell us, as usual, people should be checking the airlines before they make their way to the airport. Check long ahead. Um, thank you very much, Margaret and Jennifer Gray, who's watching all of this for us in the Weather Center and just seeing the, the snow really already coming down for folks in New York. How much worse is it going to get? Well, basically going to see the worst of it during the afternoon commute, unfortunately. Right now, the snow stretching anywhere from D.C. up I-95 through New York. Boston just now starting to see a little bit of snow coming down. But zooming in on D.C., Baltimore, you can see covered in white, meaning a lot of snow already coming down. New York City blanketed with snow as we speak. More will come down as we go through the afternoon and evening hours. I want to track this hour by hour and you can see as we go through the evening commute, this is this evening at 6 p.m. Look at that snow in D.C., New York, and Boston. It is going to be a mess if you are trying to get home after work today and then Boston should be uh, pushing out of your area during the early morning hours tomorrow. The Cape could still be dealing with a little bit of snow around 7 o'clock and then th this just continues to push off into Canada as we go through tomorrow afternoon. Snow totals, huge amounts, especially across the Jersey Shore, Long Island. We could see anywhere from uh, 10 inches of snow, New York City, possibly 6 to 8 inches of snow, hmm. and temperatures, Brooke, are going to be cold overnight. We could see temperatures feeling like 14 below zero as we go through the overnight hours. We will check back in with you, Jennifer Gray, in the next two hours. As you mentioned, this is happening. This is the big story right now. Jennifer, Margaret, Ted, and Zane, thank you all very much.